Miss Universe 2024, a night of glamour, beauty, and a seismic cultural moment. Victoria Kjertilvig, a 21-year-old Danish model, captured the crown in the 73rd edition of the pageant held in Mexico City. Competing against 120 contestants, her win wasn't just about poise and elegance, it became the centerpiece of heated global conversations about tradition, inclusion, and identity. Let's dive into this whirlwind tale that's left social media buzzing. Victoria, hailing from Denmark, claimed victory in what many called a Back to Basics Miss Universe competition. After years of progressive changes allowing married women, plus-size models, and transgender contestants, the pageant this year saw a surprising pie vote. Fans celebrated what some called a return to tradition, while critics questioned the balance between inclusivity and fairness. This cultural storm brewed long before Victoria donned the crown. In 2023, Ricky Valerie Kohle, the first transgender Miss Netherlands, competed, while a transgender contestant from Portugal placed in the top 20. The pageant's bold inclusivity shift, driven by CEO and Jagpong Jakrajutatip, a transgender woman herself, divided audiences. Was the inclusion real or symbolic? Skeptics pointed to leaked videos suggesting social inclusion policies as more of a strategy than a promise. Victoria's win fueled mixed reactions. Social media lit up with sarcastic jibes and celebratory posts. Elon Musk joined the fray, posting a meme declaring, breaking, an actual biological woman wins Miss Universe. For others, Victoria's triumph symbolized a moment of grace amidst a storm of controversy, a poignant reminder of pageantry's roots in celebrating natural femininity and traditional beauty. The lights of the Grand Miss Universe stage dimmed as two contestants stood under the spotlight, awaiting the most significant announcement of the evening. On one side stood Victoria Kjertilvig, Miss Denmark, a statuesque beauty with blonde hair and striking blue eyes, the epitome of Eurocentric allure. On the other side stood Chirima Adichina, Miss Nigeria, whose radiant voice, eloquence, and embodiment of African beauty had captivated audiences worldwide. The 73rd Miss Universe competition had come down to this moment, one that would soon ignite a fiery global debate about diversity, inclusion, and the evolving, or regressing, standards of beauty. Before we dive deeper into this story, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more exciting and thought-provoking content like this. Let's unravel the twists and turns of Miss Universe 2024 together. The Controversial Coronation of Miss Universe 2024 Thielwig's crowning moment was met with a mix of cheers and murmurs of discontent from the live audience. Social media exploded in a cacophony of reactions, some celebrated her win as a return to classical beauty ideals, while others condemned it as a setback for diversity and inclusivity in one of the world's most watched beauty pageants. Chirima Adichina, the runner-up, became the focal point of this controversy. Hailed as a trailblazer for African representation on the global stage, her eloquent responses during the question rounds, particularly her take on respect and cultural inclusivity, resonated deeply with viewers. Many argued that Adichina's performance, intellect, and stage presence merited the crown, fueling accusations of subconscious bias favoring Western standards. The debate intensified when Anjakra Jutatip, the Thai businesswoman and owner of the Miss Universe organization, praised Thielvig as a representation of the best version of Miss Universe. Critics were quick to point out that this comment, coupled with Thielvig's blonde hair and blue eyes, echoed a nostalgia for Eurocentric ideals that many thought the pageant had moved beyond. A history of progress, now in question. Over the years, the Miss Universe pageant has taken strides toward embracing diversity. Historic wins like Zozibini Tunji of South Africa in 2019 and Harnad Sandhu of India in 2021 challenged long-standing beauty norms. These victories celebrated women with unique stories, different cultural backgrounds, and beauty that defeat traditional Western expectations. However, Thielwig's victory has left many wondering if these strides were merely temporary. Social media users and cultural commentators voiced concerns that her win undermined the progress made in recent years. Donald Trump Jr., whose family previously owned the Miss Universe organization, added fuel to the fire with a controversial tweet. 
biological and objectively attractive women are allowed to win beauty pageants again. We are so back. This comment not only shifted the conversation away from the contestants' merits but also reignited debates about societal definitions of beauty. Miss Nigeria's Impactful Journey Chirima Adichina's journey to becoming the first runner-up was nothing short of extraordinary. Representing Nigeria, while she may not have won the crown, Adichina expressed pride in her achievement. History has been made for Nigeria. The Miss Universe pageant, a global spectacle that has captivated audiences for decades, is poised to usher in a new era of inclusivity and diversity. In a series of groundbreaking decisions, the organization has shattered long-standing barriers and redefined the standards of beauty and representation. In a landmark move in 2012, Miss Universe became one of the first major beauty pageants to allow transgender women to compete. This decision paved the way for transgender women to participate on equal footing with cisgender women, challenging traditional notions of gender and beauty. The organization has further expanded its eligibility criteria in recent years. In 2022, it lifted the ban on married women and mothers, recognizing that women can be both beautiful and accomplished, regardless of their marital status or parental roles. This transformative year witnessed the culmination of more than a decade of advocacy, as contestants like Marina Machati from Portugal and Ricky Kole from the Netherlands took center stage, representing a progressive vision for global beauty standards. Machati, a 23-year-old flight attendant, emerged as Miss Portugal, captivating audiences with her poignant message of resilience and advocacy for transgender rights. In her heartfelt pre-pageant video, Machati spoke of the alarming rise in global transphobia, countering it with a message of hope and love, crediting her family's unwavering support for her ability to overcome societal ignorance. Similarly, Kole, crowned Miss Netherlands earlier this year, inspired with her declaration of victory, a testament to her transformation from a young boy facing adversities to a confident and empowering trans woman. For the first time in its 70-year legacy, Miss Universe will feature multiple transgender contestants, marking a milestone in the organization's journey toward inclusivity. This progressive stance traces back to 2012, when the ban on transgender participants was lifted following advocacy by Jenna Talakova, a trailblazer who challenged the norms during the Miss Universe Canada pageant. Her efforts opened the gates for contestants like Spain's Angela Pons, who made headlines in 2018 as the first openly transgender Miss Universe contestant. The momentum didn't stop there. In 2022, Thai entrepreneur and Jakkafong Jakrajudatip acquired the organization, further cementing its commitment to diversity. As a transgender woman herself, Jakrajuta Deep has passionately championed inclusivity, leveraging her platform to dismantle outdated norms. Under her leadership, Miss Universe expanded its eligibility criteria, allowing married women, mothers, and even contestants over the previous age limit of 28 to participate. In the words of Arboni Gabriel, Miss Universe 2022, during her advocacy for age inclusivity, age should not define us. The time is now to pursue what we want. This sentiment resonates deeply in the 2024 pageant, where nearly 90 contestants from around the globe, regardless of marital status, motherhood, or age, will vie for the coveted crown in El Salvador. As the stage is set for this groundbreaking competition, the narratives of Machati and Kole exemplify the essence of Miss Universe's reimagined mission to celebrate authenticity, diversity, and the indomitable human spirit. Should either of them triumph, it would not only symbolize a personal victory but also serve as a beacon of hope and progress for communities worldwide. Conversely, supporters of her win insist that the pageant remains a competition of individual merit, where the judges' decisions should not be viewed through the lens of social expectations. The controversy also coincides with reports of potential rule changes in Miss Universe, including stricter nationality requirements for contestants. These developments have sparked further debates about the organization's commitment to inclusivity. A new rulebook, Challenges Ahead Rumors about the introduction of new Miss Universe rules for 2025 have added another layer to the discourse. One proposed rule would require contestants to be born in the countries they represent, a stipulation that has sparked mixed reactions. 
While some argue that it strengthens national representation, others believe it unfairly excludes individuals with deep cultural ties to a country they were not born in. Critics warn that such rules risk alienating contestants who embody the multicultural and interconnected realities of today's world. Michelle D., a Filipina-American and former Miss Universe finalist, summarized this sentiment. If there's a Filipina born in another country who loves the Philippines and wants to represent it, who are we to deny her that chance? The future of Miss Universe, a fork in the road. The 73rd Miss Universe competition has brought to light the evolving, and at times contradictory, expectations placed on global beauty pageants. As cultural barometers, these events reflect shifting societal values. The reactions to this year's winner and runner-up reveal a complex, ongoing conversation about beauty, identity, and representation. While Thielwig's victory sparked debates about Eurocentric standards, Ade China's journey reminded the world of the importance of inclusion and the power of representation. Both women's stories underscore the need for a broader, more nuanced understanding of beauty that transcends borders and celebrates diversity in all its forms. As the curtains fall on Miss Universe 2024, the world is left pondering its next steps. Will the pageant embrace its role as a platform for inclusivity and progress, or will it succumb to the pull of tradition and nostalgia? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you believe the pageant made the right choice, or do you think it missed an opportunity to redefine beauty standards? Share your opinions in the comments below. Before you go, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell icon to stay updated on stories that matter. Let's keep the conversation going, together, we can shape a world where everyone's beauty is celebrated. Conclusion As Victoria stood beside Nigeria's Chidima Adichina, who became the first runner-up, the applause resonated beyond the venue. Yet, the deeper question remains, what does Miss Universe truly stand for today? Is it an evolving platform for diversity or a stage struggling to balance tradition with inclusivity? Victoria's win may have answered that, at least for now. What are your thoughts on this cultural phenomenon? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more thrilling updates on the latest beauty pageant bus.